here's the thing, guys. I don't use soap on two things: my armpits and my. Oh cock, so my god! You don't I, wash I guess, your toe? I mean, I don't use soap. Why don't you use soap on your feet? It's bad. You, soap is bad. No, I just, you need soap for your fucking balls, your nut sack, and your armpits. Other than that, don't use. Shit. Today, we're pranking Sean Strickland. I hired an etiquette coach because that man is unhinged and he doesn't know how to act. Wish me luck. Hi, I'm here with Sean Strickland. Sean Strickland, everybody. How have you been? I've been? Can you just put keep it down the table? I'm cutting weight. We're here with the empty plate. You can't even give me the Marvin treatment. You give me a f***ing empty plate. No, because I'm I care about you and I know you have a lot of weight to lose. Yeah, I know I'm a little fat right now, guys. Yeah, but I, I like I like your setup. I like your setup. Can, okay. I, can I drink the water? No. Yeah. Do we have extra water? You can drink the no, water. No, I don't need to drink the water. Yeah. No, 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 I don't need to drink the water. No, you can drink the f***ing water. Thank you. Okay. All right. Continue. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's a lot for you. The monster water would be better, guys. Give me money. <laughs> oh, they give you money? Yeah, no, they sponsor me now. Now I get money for pretty much doing nothing. They don't even ask me to do shit. They just give me money. It's really nice, you guys. Um, how come the can is empty when they give it to you at the end? They give you an empty can? Yeah, don't they? I don't fucking know. I don't think I ever hold a can. But continue. Now I probably have to. But they sponsor you, but you don't ever hold the can? So I think I'm usually like, my CTE's kicking in. I'm just rambling on about shit, calling me. <laughs> He doesn't have a sponsorship at all. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, first question. On a scale of 1 to 10, how bad is your road rage? I don't really get angry. Like, you don't need to get angry to want to kill a man. If anything, it's an enjoyable experience, you know? So it's like, whenever I have a road rage incident, I'm not like, oh, you motherfucker, I want to kill you. I'm like, oh, man, you're about to make my day, sir. I hope this escalates. Maybe we should go somewhere a little bit more <laughs> private. So, yeah, I don't really get angry. I want to call it road rage. It's more of like enjoyment. So it's like the best part of your day? Well, here's the thing, you guys. I fight professional fighters every day. And anytime you get an opportunity to fuck somebody up who doesn't train, it's really, really enjoyable. Super easy. Did you ever fix the drawer in your kitchen next to your guns? First of all, I have guns everywhere. So, I mean, you have to be a little more specific. Uh, no, I actually moved out. I moved out. So Vegas, you guys, is fucking ghetto. I'm a man of motorcycles. As we all know, I almost f***ing died in one. And the problem is, I didn't have a garage. So I had to get a place with a garage. So I've really stepped up my f***ing life. Sadly. More expensive. Do you leave your toilet behind? Yeah, the toilet. Well, I don't know. <laughs> hopefully they fix the toilet. But here's the thing about toilets, you guys. The handle doesn't really mean anything. You just got to take off the lid and just pull up the plunger manually, and, you know. You ever think of getting a bidet? Oh, uh, too gay, honestly. It's like any man, any man who like lets water shoot up their ass, it's kind of, it's kind of gay. So you never get a colonic? No, 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 God. It was actually funny. I almost got in a fight with, uh, you probably don't even watch fighting. You're a woman. You just do this because you got titties. But uh, that's, that's what your fan base is. Your 1.3s and titties. That's why I'm here. But there was actually an ultimate fighter. Yeah. Who got a, you remember that? Yeah. Are you sure? How old are you? How old Continue. You? Continue. How old you? Continue. Okay. <clears throat> but <laughs> I almost got in a fight with that guy at a candy cage event because I called uh -huh. him. A, yeah, I called him a pussy once, and uh -huh. then yeah, there we are. Irrelevant story. Continue. What does that have to do with the bidet? Listen, I'm fucking, well, I'm just saying I almost got in a fight with a guy who got a cl clonic because I called him a pussy for doing it. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Now it's making okay, sense. Continue. So you won't put anything in your ass? No, no. I mean, you know, like. You know, you've had a girl try to put a finger here and there, but it's like, I will never, say no, no. Never no, makes never, it through. No, no one's penetrated my Never penetrated. No, no one's penetrated my ass, ever. Good to know. How much lube do you How own? about you? Do you ever uh, put a finger in your man's ass? No. How much? Wait, wait, no, no, no. She has. No. Guys, listen. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm looking at the guy behind the camera, and you should see the giggle on his face. He's 100% No thinking. one wants a finger in their ass with these. Uh, okay, good to you. That's how, how you know a lesbian, by the way. First two nails. The first cut. two nails are cut. Yeah, that's yeah. how you know, you guys. Hey, fun fact. If you ever trying to have a threesome, first two nails. If they got nails, they're not down. Or they could be down, but, you know, they're not true lesbians. What's a true lesbian? Well, you know, like you have like the lips, you have like the girls that are down just because, you know, they're drunk and they want to be like, hey, why not? But like, they don't really like it. Yeah. But then you got the true ones that when you're involved, you're like, I'm not even, you're not even, what the f you guys are They don't want you. Yeah. They want Funny you. enough, I actually had my first threesome. It was very non-consensual when I was like 17. Yeah, it was super non-consensual. Like, uh, 
Like, if I was a woman, it would have been 100%. 100%. It was, it was two women? Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> so I'm what? like 17. I'm, okay. I'm a pro fighter, and I have yeah. a fight coming up. Yeah. And this girl, one's in the military, the other one's going off to boot camp. You know, and they were okay. Two Jesus. fives, two fives make a 10, right? So I get over there. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, guys, but I'm I'm decent, you know. Okay. So I lay in the pipe. Oh, okay. She says, "Hey, my friend's going to boot camp." Kind of weird, and I'm like, "Ugh." So I tell the girl, like, I'm 17. I'm kind of getting scared. You yeah. know, I'm a little kid. I'm like 17. Yeah. It was the first time. So I like, as I start leaving, they like literally grab me and like, 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 kind of force me to stay. Like, yeah. So I was. Uh, How old were they? Uh, probably like 20s. Jesus yeah, Christ, so, yeah. Sean. <laughs> yeah, That's I was a minor. Not consensual. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, 100%. Are you okay? Oh, no, it was awesome. <laughs> I mean, it helped me lose weight, you know. It helped but, you lose... But I'm you telling you, if I, was, if I was a woman in that situation, I'm sorry. It was just literally just like me with two, like, one after one after one after one. Yeah. All night. Oh, every time, all night. Okay. <laughs> I would try to leave every <laughs> fucking time. Every time they locked you in. No, they would literally, like, I remember when I, when I first like, got there and I tried to leave, she, yeah. she grabbed my shirt and was like, no, stay, stay, please. Oh so I'm God. telling you guys, I've, I've had some trauma in my life. It's like a Ted Bundy scene. Yeah, it wasn't my uncle, though, which was nice. Thank God it wasn't the uncle. Um, okay, continue. Where are we at here? Do you support communism? God, no. I'm, I mean, America's pretty f***ing communist. I don't know. Where are you from? Like, Cuba? This mother f <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from New York. You're not from New York. I'm you're, from New York. You're not your skin. You're not American. I'm from New York. No, you guys, I, I don't support communism. America is filled with a bunch of f***ing cowards. We we fought the British Empire over a little taxes, and now we're taxed at what rate? A f***ing f ton. You guys are all a bunch of f***ing f ton, right? You guys are the ones that ruin this f***ing country because every day you f***ing vote for these stupid f***ing Democrats. They want to just give out money, tax the rich, and then you vote for these stupid f***ing Republicans that want to buy more takes. So f*** you guys. F*** you guys. Not the people watching. Well, no, if you spend. vote, yeah, no, f*** you guys. Yeah, you're the oh. reason why we have to pay and a kind of taxes. Yeah, f*** you guys. You guys. We should all be grabbing AR-15s and storming the Capitol. Where were you on January 6th? <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I'm not a Trumper, you guys. I'm a libertarian, man. I'm not a Trumper. Not a Trumper. I'm not Colby trying to f***ing d*** him off in the back room for a little bit of f***ing Instagram fame. I'm not a Trumper. Would you do a little finger action? I mean, uh, finger action with what? Why do you think... Calm down, I know. I know if we were talking about Castro, <laughs> you'd probably be way happier. What do you think of the Elon and Zuck fight? Oh, God. I remember when I deleted my, my Facebook. I was on the Facebook or too much. Like, every time I get on the Facebook, I would just see, like, negative shit all day long. Like, yeah. you know. And I yeah. would start engaging. But, like, yeah, fuck you, Biden. Fuck you, Trump. And then I realized that Facebook is cancer. And you should just delete it. So, if you don't support communism or Mark Zuckerberg, uh, then why did you buy your verification badge? Because I'm on my third Instagram. <laughs> and they will not give me a blue check because they're dirty mother. Listen, you guys, <laughs> I, I, I have no shame. I'm doing an interview with Nina because she has 1.3 million followers on Instagram and mm -hmm. her titties hang out. They're it not makes it more awkward. Out. They're it makes propped. it more awkward because they're propped up. You know what makes it more awkward, you they're guys? They're just propped This nicely. is a real factual thing I'm saying. <sighs> she intentionally makes her titties hang out for me. They and don't her boyfriend hang out. is holding a camera while I'm trying not to look at her. They're not tapes. hanging out. So Sean. when we talk about shame here, Nina, let's not let's not go too deep in the woods. They're here. not hanging out. Sean. Oh, they're hanging out. Anyway, let's continue. How's your toe? Oh, it's fucked up. It's so gross. I'll even f show you my toe. Uh, motherfucker, right up in here. This toe. <laughs> no, look at the fucking, look at the fucking toe. Sean, me, why why are your feet so dirty? No, I'm gonna explain. Sean, to you. I'm gonna explain to you. No, you gotta look at the toe. I gotta explain to you what's going on with the toe. Sean, you have like gangrene or something. So, first of all, guys, the let me tell you why I have man feet. The women out there, I'm sure there's not many that, that watch her because not many want to see other women's titties, but for the women out there, if you look so at your man's disgusting. foot and they look like little princess feet, he's not a fucking man. My feet look like that because I was breaking a Mustang, I was wearing sandals, and a horse stepped on my foot. <laughs> I mean, this is a 100% factual story. I was, I'm an idiot for wearing sandals. And when a, when a Mustang, a horse steps on your foot, it doesn't just get off. So you gotta like shove it. So half my toe died. 
And that is why my toe looks like that. Why did you try to break in a Mustang before a fight? First of all, this happened like years ago. and So it hasn't healed? No, it's like dead. Like the toe is dead. Continue now. And the same thing happened to this toe too. Like, you guys ever notice like half my toe doesn't grow because that f***ing horse. Hondo, good horse. For, now for a segment of things Sean said and one thing Sean didn't say. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Okay, so you had to tell me all the things you said and one of the things you didn't say. Okay. Okay. <laughs> shooting competitions are gay. Super gay, yeah. No, shooting, you, when you guys are like fake masking motherfuckers with their gay competition pistols and they're like walking around shooting targets, super fucking gay, you guys. Super fucking gay. So you said that? Yeah, I said that. Super gay. Um, I don't really watch women's MMA, but if I do, I root for the ugly one. 100%. I'll tell you why. Because, like, here's the thing. Like, you're like a solid... Just... No, just, just stop. No, no, I gotta go with this. No. You're don't a even, solid... Don't say anything, Like, Sean. you're done up now, so you're like an eight. <gasps> but Thank like, you. But no, you're an eight because you're done up. But, like, Thank the next you. day, like, what your boyfriend sees is a solid 5-4. 5-4. 5-4. 5-4. Yeah. Five, four. Five, four. Five, four. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, the next, No, 100%. The next day, once Thanks, it's all f***ed up, yeah, solid 5-4. Solid 5-4. But she can make herself look like an eight. So she has... She has an audience... She has a, a following here. I am trying not to look at her titties. Like, she has so many legs up in life. We're like, I just want the ugly bitches to win. I don't want to the ugly bitches, but I just want them to win. Why are lesbians such c***s? Oh, God. Well, you gotta ask yourself. You know, I like the gays. I like the gays, and I, I like the gays. There's some lesbians I've liked. There's some, you know, mm -hmm. I've really liked. But most lesbians hate men and i don't know mm -hmm. why i mean again you gotta understand something probably really fucked up happened to him i don't want to go there yeah most lesbians hate men so I'm, I'm not the one though i'm not that i'm not your dad that touched you i'm not your uncle that beat you i'm not the guy i'm not the one if anything i've been borderline non-consensually assaulted by two women so i should hate you guys but here i don't hate you guys so you said that yeah i said that <clears throat> Why is it that only fat people drink Diet Coke? No, oh, 100%. Do you drink Diet Coke? Uh, no, I don't drink soda. Okay. I mean, you look like you lost a little weight. You slimmed down a little bit. Have you slimmed down a little bit? So you said that? Yeah, 100%. I've never seen a skinny drink Diet Coke. Um, I have an iPhone. <laughs> what the gay is that? No, I don't got a fucking iPhone, bunch of So you didn't say that? Calm down, Steve Jobs. Well, he's dead, but... Yeah, we went in the end, Android. So you didn't say that? No. No, I didn't say that. And I there we own. have it. Things I would never, Sean said and things Sean I would Sean never own say. an iPhone because I'm American. Oh, okay, like Sean. Three. Got you this gift. Speaking of dead toes. I probably could use some maintenance, but what am, what am I supposed to do? Go get a pedicure like a little f***ing girl? No. But do you wash it? I mean, here's the thing, guys. I only use soap on two things. My armpits and my c***. So, oh, my God. I mean, You don't I, I wash guess, your toe? I mean, I don't use soap. Why don't you use soap on your feet? It's bad. Like, it's bad. Don't soap you, is bad? No, it's, you need soap for your f***ing balls, your nut sack, and your armpits. Other than that, don't use the It's actually a good one. <laughs> what, what do you, what do you, rec what do you uh, identify as? Are you pretty pro-trans? I've never asked you that. Get ready to lose half your audience. I've asked Chris Curtis this. Mm -hmm. If your boyfriend were to have sex with a transgender woman, would mm -hmm. he be gay? Put that to the side. No, that's not what I got going on, but I'll, I'll use it though. I thought that's what you had going on. Yeah, no, you guys, listen, I'm a clean motherfucker. You should smell my nuts. I don't think... You should smell I mean, by guys. the look of your feet, Sean, it doesn't look like you showered in my, years. My balls smell like crisp alpine day, all right? My but balls But just are, your balls? <laughs> nothing that's, else. That's, <laughs> nothing else. That's the only part <laughs> that I want to be played with, all right? Well, I have my c*** too, but we'll get there. So I don't need this, man. I'm, I'm telling you. No, I'm you do. After looking, after looking at your feet, Sean, you definitely need that. They're f***ing disgusting. Motherfucker. No one with feet like that should be able to call someone or a four or a five. You know, I might actually try this. This actually might do the trick for me. You need, but, I think you need a but full here's the amputation. Thing. Here's the thing. If I ever throw a kick, which I don't, but if I ever throw a kick, <laughs> you need to understand that you might actually die. Like, you won't. you might win the fight, but you might die in life. 
Because if that toe makes contact with you, it's a weapon. It's a f***ing weapon. Because it because yeah. you don't take cool. care of it and it's jagged. It's so nailed. weird. That, uh, why do we have this set up? There's one more now. I know. This is actually. I think you need this now. A tampon. No, it's not a tampon. It's a toe bandage. Okay. To cover your f***ing disgusting yeah. toe. Anyway, this concludes. Next our time I do. Show. Next time I do an interview with you, make me a sandwich do your part okay this you, you got the titties hanging out all right this concludes the interview no but real no no stop no stop, stop. i like nina guys here's the thing about Nina. most women i just assume they're sucking somebody off i just assume they're sucking somebody off and i assume they only have this job because that but like i will say like she's pretty knowledgeable i like her personality it's a solid you know she's about a she's about a six no makeup six no makeup six and a half but a person has a solid nine, so Thank I like you. the interviews. I appreciate here. it. Thank you. you. Wow, that's really sweet of you. Thank yeah. you. Thanks. Okay. Well, now we will move on to the next portion, my favorite portion. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm always ready. Okay. Hold on. Would you? How much money would it take for you to suck a d Honestly. Um. No. A million dollars. A million. Two million. Three million. Four million. Five million. No. No. No money. You can I cannot be sold, or bought. I can't oh, be bothered. I've never sucked a dick for a fucking penny. I respect that. Well, there we go, you guys. That's what I'm talking about. I, I like her. Hello. Hi. Sean. How are you? What? This is Nicole. All right, Nicole. Hi, Sean. Hello, Nicole. Um, typically, when you meet someone, you stand up. <laughs> and you're going to. Your shit. <laughs> so, Sean, Nicole is an etiquette coach. <laughs> And she's going to be here to teach you oh. how to act right in public so that you don't get canceled because we care about you. Oh. So this is an intervention, Sean. <laughs> Sean, come on. Take a come on, Sean. Come on, Sean. Let's get up. <laughs> Let's get up, Sean. Well, at least she's not a prostitute. No. I might have liked it more. All right, how do we do this? Hi, Sean, my name's... Nope, nope. Okay, so uh, this is your web, and this is my web. When you shake someone's hand, doesn't matter, woman, man, you okay. put your web and my web. Okay. So nice and deep. There you Ooh, go. Nice and deep. Okay. Get in there, Sean. Oh, Get gosh. in there. <laughs> I've said the wrong thing already. Okay? Well, then, you wore the wrong dress. And then when <laughs> you wore the right dress. When you shake someone's hand, you want to give it Tell a Tell me, wait, I got to ask you, did you plan that? No. No. Okay. <laughs> One more time. Squeeze a little bit harder. There you go. Nice to meet nice you. Nice and Nice hard. to meet you. And then just eye contact. Yeah. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what else would you like me to teach, Sean? So, so far we've learned an introduction. So do we need to learn conversational skills, maybe? Oh, I think we should work on some conversational skills. Okay. Should, should we sit and have conversational skills? Sure. Wonderful. Let yeah. me get us another chair. Uh, what I've done is I've put together a guide of gentlemen. Oh, this is way better. Continue. Yes. Yeah, so gentlemanly <laughs> behavior for Sean. <laughs> so, so we already did introductions, which is great. So conversations. So number two, I think we should work on here. Okay. <laughs> and in control of your emotions. I'm so in control of my emotions. Yeah. He has no I'm, control. In, no, I'm so controlled. You it's are. True. I am yeah. like the it's definition of a sociopath. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Okay. I can see that, yeah. He just has trouble with the eyes. Got it. Yeah. And so number three says to ask people questions. So can you so. think of some appropriate questions <laughs> that you might want to ask me, Sean? Uh, I'm still wondering if they're real or fake. I'm going fake. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! We're, we're gonna, Sean, we're gonna redirect that. your energy. Just okay, question. Control um, your emotions. I'm gonna pretend if I were to meet you in the wild. We're gonna pretend that I was single and I'm, I'm being a saw motherfucker. First, I would look at your wedding ring and I would say, oh, well, you were married. Well, that is a, uh, that is disappointing. And then, <laughs> and then I might say something along the lines of, I might find out what, how big of a slut you are. Okay. So I'd probably, you know. What's the end goal here, Sean? Yeah, what are what, you trying to find why out? Find out if she so, is gonna cheat on her husband. But why does that matter? And then the moment, in the moment, I'm like, again, you guys, I don't cheat on my girlfriend. Solid guy. If you're watching this, babe, and this is all just, you know, humor. And then once I found that out, if you were like, <clears throat> oh no, I love my husband. He is the greatest guy ever. I, I have a bunch of kids. I'm happily married. Then I say, all right, well, have a good day. 
There's no. Okay. Th he doesn't. So, it doesn't make it. But we'll get. But we'll continue this. For like, well, let's just say you're trying to sell me something. Let's let's just let's redirect the whole thing, okay? Yeah. So let's say that you you notice my ring right away. So yeah. something you could say to somebody that would be appropriate would be, oh, that's a nice ring. Just one simple compliment, yeah. and then let me do the rest of talking. So but now was he in going to get laid, or why would I do that? Because you're making small talk in conversation just, to be personal. But why do I need to make small talk with a woman? It's just, just Sean, just go along with it. Well, because it. I'm here, right? Okay. And so you you want to, in order to have manners, you want to make me feel comfortable. But what do I get out of it? You get it's to be the satisfaction of having a nice, being a nice person. Okay. okay. It's just learning how to communicate with both sexes so that you're not just doing the man dance all the time. But it's like, but I'm saying, why would a man want to talk to a woman? You so, got a boyfriend, you know, like. Are you saying I have a girlfriend? The only like, reason you talk to a person of the opposite sex is to have intercourse with them? Why would any why would any man wanna communicate? Let's continue this conversation then. What do you like to do for fun? Thank you for asking. I love to cook. Okay. Um, I just hosted a party at my house. We had Polish food. We wow. made everything from scratch. Uh -huh. Yeah. What do you like to do for fun? No, continue. What, uh, what's your favorite thing to do? Your favorite pastime? I probably would say uh, organizing and crafting. I like to make things. So again, you guys, other than the, <laughs> the glorious view of the t why, why would a man want to talk to a woman? Sean, may I interject? <laughs> sure. Okay. Sometimes in life, in order to grow as a person, okay. you have to see other people not just as sexual objects because they can help you okay. expand your knowledge of the world and become a better person. Okay. Not every man you meet is going to want to help you grow and expand as a person. A lot of times they're going to find competition with you. I feel the same way about men. You. I, if, unless you ride motorcycles, unless I could hit you, I generally don't want to talk to you. I don't want right. to be your friend. I don't want to go hang out and have brunch. I don't want to go, you know, try to bang the, the waitress with you. Like, yeah. Yeah. So you said you have a girlfriend, right? Yeah, I have a girlfriend. And are you planning to like take the next step with her? Eventually, yeah, I would yeah. say so, yeah. So the reason why you and I could communicate is so that I could help you with your wedding day etiquette mm -hmm. or even looking farther in the future. I work with children. So okay, do you I, have children? No, I don't. Okay. I, well, I have a stepson and I consider him my child, but I did not actually give birth to him. Okay, I don't know if that counts as your child. Yeah. Your stepson. Kurt, has so. a, Kurt has a stepson and he's always like, I have a kid. First of all, this kid is like wider than me. I'm like, dude, I need your kid it's like sean i would <clears throat> i raised this kid I'm like no my yeah, but sometimes sean your dad isn't always the best example of a dad and you have a lot of stepsons that treat their step you have a lot Are of stepfathers that steep that hold on sean you have a lot of stepfathers that treat their stepson more of a son than the actual biological father did well as long as not him, okay that's a leg up yeah you, I are mean, your parents together yes they are are your parents together no oh they got divorced after like 31 years oh shit. Yeah. Man, they're like old. I know. I wonder why. Like, you can't even like go slide up in anything after that age. <laughs> Sean, there's a conversational tip, right? Yeah. So we direct your body okay. language that way, so I can get your do, face. Do you want to talk about body language too? Because your body language it's is all wide. Spread. So all you have, <laughs> you um, you slouch a lot. Like you look like you just like are laze. <laughs> Like, try to sit up straight. Put your shoulders back. You look like a very big, strong man. So, <laughs> so you guys are f***ing getting somewhere. That's my lead. You, are you with a big, strong man? I am. Okay. You put a ring on it. <laughs> First of all, I'll tell you guys answer. that means Good answer. F all really nothing. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, you guys. No, but your, your posture for sure okay. says a lot about if you are interested in someone. But what if I? What does this tell you? If I'm just like this? That you don't care. Does it? Does it look like that? I that I'm good in bed. Like if you were to see this guy, I'd be like, oh man, he f**ks like a champion. Honestly, I wouldn't care to find out because your body language demonstrates you're uninterested in anything. <laughs> okay, so if I'm like this, yeah. now you want to know. Now you look like a gentleman. Now you want to know. But yeah. gentlemen, don't, but gentlemen don't f**k right. Can you just look at his toe real quick? First of all. <laughs> what about it? You see what I'm saying, Nibby? You need a f**king etiquette coach. <laughs> Sounds Good. like you need to talk to her. That what shit is, is your, disgusting. Do you have a, what's your business called? Poison proper. Poison proper, you guys. <laughs> Nina, coming out here with a titty, trying to make me look like a joke, is actually being schooled on I'm etiquette not by making poison you look like proper. A joke. I'm trying to keep you from getting canceled. Okay, I'm good. So okay. you asked me what I like to do for fun, right? Mm. And so a good conversational tip is to throw it back. So then if somebody asks you a question, then you ask them the same question back. So I try to throw it back to you. What well, do we've you already like established you're fun? married, though. So forget about <laughs> it. Pretend I'm like your sister or okay. like a sister-in-law oh something. i got like 20 unread messages from her <laughs> <laughs> well here i am live okay. and in person now okay so yeah what i like to do for fun i'll tell you what um okay if i was trying to get in your pants 
Sean. You're, no, you're not, Sean. You're not trying to get but into then, anyone's But then kids. you have the honest question. But then you, Sean. then I must lie to her. Then do that. Just fucking lie, Sean. Just play the but part. But then if I'm lying to her, okay. It just this I'm is. I'm gonna this pretend is thing. like I'm trying to get in your pants. Well, let no. me tell you. <clears throat> Don't try to get in her pants. No, I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm trying to get in your pants. No, pants. no, no pants. I actually, <clears throat> I actually go to San Diego often. I, I love selling to Catalina. Um, yeah, it's probably. Play, I love playing the guitar. It's, are these real things? Yeah, no, real he does. Things. He likes he likes home improvement stuff. You yeah, like to I, I, I love building stuff. things, nice. uh, working on cars. Cool. But I would say my real Tell love, I would say my real love is probably selling. It's just in the ocean. It's free. It's, it's amazing. Have Do you ever been? Have you ever been selling? No, I've been on a big boat, but not a sailboat. Okay. Oh, it's it's like the best. It's quiet. It's it's peaceful. It's the best. That's awesome. Okay. But then she's married, so it doesn't matter. Now that's we move the fucking nicest. That's the best shot. I mean, that's what you look like. Sean, really that was like, like the sweetest fear. moment you've ever had. Let me tell you guys something. That is so sweet. Again, <laughs> I'm not a scumbag anymore. Lives have changed. But you know, you know if you're going to get the <laughs> within the first, like, You're not going to get 20. any here, Sean. That's what I'm saying. That's <laughs> what so I'm, just play the what game. What I'm saying is, like, you know you're going to get it within the first 20, <laughs> maybe less. And once you realize you're not going to get it, dude, it's just time to move the fuck on. Go throw another line out. May I have some water, please? Absolutely. <laughs> I, I am the most proper motherfucker there is. But it's just in the day, like, there's a difference between me, like, trying to impress somebody and me just talking to two fucking chicks with boyfriends and a husband. <laughs> I think the purpose of this is for your career. Okay. Yeah. So we want to make your careers. Do you have male friends? Oh, yeah. Oh, they're all trying to f*** you. They're for not. Sure. Yes, they are. No, they're not. What do you guys talk about? Um, cooking, friends. Are they gay? No, they have wives. I'm the godmother to one of them. <laughs> oh, man, that's a that's a, that's a a fun party. <laughs> when she said she was at a party, what kind of party was she at? <laughs> you ought to know everybody was naked by the end of that month. <laughs> Why do you assume I do these naughty things? Because this is how this is <laughs> the moment she said uh, these naughty things. The, <laughs> all naughty. But like, so when you talk to when you talk to these f***ing men, what do you guys talk about? Everything, life. I, I talk to a lot of people who volunteer, so I work with a lot of. Are you religious? No. Okay. I, I talk with a lot of like nonprofits and charities, so I'm running a. a Five K for St. Jude, right? Okay. I'm trying to get people together. I'm okay. doing a gala for Lead, which is like law enforcement against drugs for kids, trying to okay. keep kids off the streets. Okay. And so, why do these men do this? They just like your company? Well, no, we work together. Are they happily married? Oh, okay, so they're coworkers. So they're forced to be your friend, uh, or they're like, forced to talk to you. No, it's like. So we're getting to the root of this, you guys. They're forced to be her friend. They're not forced to be her friend. It's, it's like I meet their partnership. Like hold it like yes, just hold the. So the problem is they didn't go by my 20 minute rule. <clears throat> They're doing the long con, and you guys, you should name hey, Randy Couture, you, and you should never do, you should never do the long con, because all these dudes are trying to long con her. It's been weeks that you guys ain't gonna get it. You ain't gonna Sean, get it. Jesus, Sean. They but are, that's, but that's they why they all want it. Or like done, like they're respectful of my engagement. And okay. They do not. Oh, so you're engaged? You're not. You're only engaged. Yes, I just got engaged a couple weeks <laughs> there ago. There we go, guys. That's another. That's another. As an etiquette coach as I am as a man coach, the moment she said she's engaged, that's the door is not all the way shut. You got a little crack. But what are you trying to do if you have a girlfriend? Again, I'm not saying I don't cheat on my girlfriend. It's crazy. This but is you're saying, you're talking this is about the only other woman men. I haven't cheated on. Do you ever go to like uh, events where you have to dine? Yeah. Yeah. Do only you, woman I haven't cheated on, by the way. Do you know how to use the dining set? No, I actually don't go to events after dine. You know? I mean, if, if I really get forced to, I will, but mm -hmm. I try not to. Yeah. Luckily, we have an experience here for you. Okay. Where we're gonna teach you how to. Oh, dine. I could actually. You hold a knife like this, you guys. You probably <laughs> shovel food. That's <laughs> how you might hold a a shiv. Yeah. No, <laughs> I think you need etiquette. How many times do you curse? Bitch, I do what I want. You have a kid? No. Oh, yeah, I guess that time is up now. Do you want a kid? Yeah, one day. Are you gonna adopt? Oh, look how cute this is. That day is like, <laughs> Mina, that day is now. You are Shut four up. years Shut old. The there is up. no day. Shut up. Look listen, what I dude. did for you. Listen, I don't know. Are you on, are you on birth control? No. Listen, man, you need to start putting the baby gravy in Nina because, like, that time is up, bro. There are so many. Look at Kris Jenner. She had Kylie and Kendall at 40 years old. Yeah, but she's also. In... My eggs are good. I got good eggs. I'm solid. Well, I'm you are Mexican. Are you Mexican? Mother. If I had to tell you one more hey, time, I'm Italian. Generally, generally he Mexican. Generally, he doesn't listen to anything. Generally, all he talks about are tits, trying to f girls. He's so, never gonna f 
not going to cheat on his girlfriend because she's an amazing girlfriend. She was no cheater. And Generally, Mexicans, if they're not knocked up by the age of 14, they're not, not going to get knocked up. Talking about Mexicans. So let's place our napkins in our laps. <laughs> I, you know why I did this for you? Because I was being considered. Wait, are you really? Wait, no. I'm, are you really supposed to put your napkins in your lap at nice dinners? Yeah. Yes. That is super fucking gay. Yep. So men really do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and then, you wow. don't get food all over your pants, Sean. That is so fucking gay. So a lot of times right. men will drape it on one leg, okay. um, like that, or okay. like kind of close up or there. Drape. Hey, okay. you can drape. Drape away. Nope. I'm good. Go. I'm gonna let you go ahead and take care of that. Um, <laughs> the fork goes on the left, and the knife is on the right. <clears throat> And you can say okay. that because it's F O R K L E F T. Oh, and then this would be more my my killing hand. <laughs> knife has five, and so does right R I G H D. Okay. Poison proper, you guys. We're doing good here. Oh, good, cool. So, left. when you hold your fork and knife, may I have the knife, please? Yeah. Please don't stop me. Thank That's you. No worries. Okay. So you can put them on your pointer fingers the like only this. Enjoyment I'd get, right? And then twist. So your pointer finger should be out like this. Okay. 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 Twist, you guys. Poison proper. Yep, but keep your fingers off of the blade. You want to put them back here on the handle. I generally eat with my hands. I'm not gonna lie. To <laughs> Just be open to learning. After this, you don't have to take any of it. Okay, right here. Ba, ba, ba. <clears throat> yeah. So if I may, just I didn't want to tempt you. You may. You, you. Okay, may, you hold may. it. Yeah. You there may. you go. Right there. Just like that. All right. Mm -hmm. By the way, this is a terrible way to stab a man. So you said you you like to eat with your hands. Yeah. Um, actually, asparagus is a finger food, so oh, okay. you could pick that up and eat that. <laughs> Sean, that's a prop, you fucking animal! Put it, put it I back! Need, I need five of you guys, I haven't been eating. Oh, you're such an idiot sometimes. Are you chewing the paper? <laughs> what the f is wrong? Like, spit it out, spit it out, give it to me. All right, continue guys, I gotta eat the f I'm hungry, I haven't eaten, continue. Well, okay. I didn't want to tempt you with food because you're fing fat and you need to lose 30 pounds. Calm down, pounds, Mr. Mr. Or no kids. He's not kind of fat. Was, he's not fat, but he's no. fight fat. Yeah. Yeah. Fight See, fat. He's fight I'm not, fat. I'm not fat. fat. We're getting the engagement, guys. Engage and I'm not married. old. <laughs> you I'm have a old girlfriend and you are happy. Okay. I'm happy. I did a blood yeah. test and my hormones are great and I'm very fertile. So <laughs> Apparently not. So is he not is he not putting the baby gravy in you? <laughs> I get baby gravy all the time. So you're on birth control? No. So you're not on birth control. No. <laughs> He's getting the baby gravy. Because always. I use protection. Something something that Dude, not you most wear of a lot of people Bro, you consider. Wear, wait, wait, stop. You wear Because if I get pregnant, wait, what am I going to do? Stop. You wear a condom every time? That Sean, is all being safe. Or is it a pull-out method? Do you really wear a condom every time? So That's let's practice holding our wine glass now. So <laughs> This? Yes. The right or the left hand? Um, whichever hand you feel most comfortable with. I'm left-handed, I hold my drink in my left hand, but you hold it by the stem, and the reason why is because you do not want to change the temperature of the wine. Oh, I do don't you drink, drink wine? No, I don't drink. You don't drink at all? That's bad for the brain. Got it. <laughs> hand if I drink, I'd probably catch a right case hand. after this mm -hmm. meeting. This is real life. Are you, while we do the etiquette, is he, is he pulling out or is he wearing the rubber? Sometimes I just want to choke you. <laughs> Pulling out a rubber, bro. I'll ask you. Give me a nod. Pulling out rubber. But I mean, that's a risky game you play, you know? That's a really risky game you play. But again, you are getting old. I'm getting old. Uh, continue. Sorry about that. No, <laughs> it's totally fine. You're doing great. So um, I'm not really sure what else we could go over. We can go over the bread basket. Oh, yeah, the bread basket. I couldn't find anything smaller. <laughs> Is that what you said when you met your boyfriend? <laughs> you know, on average, you know, they say on average, Mexican, on average Mexicans have the biggest dicks. That's they what they don't. say, average. Now you know. That yeah, information. Which, which is weird because their whole f the whole family is like Mexican. <laughs> Watch out, buddy. Is it hot in here? <laughs> it's boiling hot. Didn't, is it hot in here, you guys? The 20-minute rule. We're still not out there, and the door's f***ing open, you guys. The door's f***ing open. You were going to teach him about oh, the bread. Oh, the bread. Yeah. The bread. You're not going to eat Thank it. You so much. I'm going to eat, eat the bread. I'm going to eat the bread. You Could you open this for me, uh, Yeah, absolutely. Thank is you. Is there a label? No. There you go. There you Thank go. you. Wow. Yeah, I'm really good at opening jars. So. <laughs> good hand dexterity. Why don't you go ahead and grab a piece of bread from the bread ginormous bread would basket? Would I normally do it? No, I, would I do it? Well, if no, you want to. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> so if you if you do want to do it like that, you would just grab it with the towel. Oh, that's and, good news. That's yeah, good. and then do that. Okay, so now place the bread on your bread plate. So what you're gonna do is take your knife and then put a little bit of butter on your plate. Wait, 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 sorry. Let me say it again. Do you Is want it... me to demonstrate for yeah, you? Yeah, demonstrate away. Okay, demonstrate so away. do you mind? Yes. Okay. Take some butter and put it on the side of your plate. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. So go ahead, you try. Oh, yeah, butter on the side of the plate. Mm -hmm. How old is your uh, boyfriend? Uh, Nia? Sean, why are you always so concerned about my boyfriend? Because we're having a f 
a dinner date and etiquette. This is not the threesome that I wanted, but it's the threesome I'm having. So. Right, so follow suit. It's about being polite and having etiquette. At when, at what at what point, how drunk should I be getting you to accomplish my mission? <laughs> Listen, how do you get to ask me all these? Isn't it only fair? She asked me all these questions. How Um, this isn't about this isn't about typically you don't ask people about ages. I see. Or sexual contraceptives. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. He's like, was he older? Oh, you fucking cradle robber. He's younger, isn't he? You fucking oh, dirty, dirty girl. So now to eat the bread, right? (laughs) So we're not gonna like manhandle the bread. What you're gonna do is take a small bite-sized piece off, something that you could fit in your mouth. (laughs) Something Um, you could fit in your mouth. That's a big piece, That is a big piece. You can fit a lot in this mouth. So then you Why don't you show me what you could fit in your mouth? (laughs) So then you would take your knife and, remember how I taught you to hold it, right? Oh yeah, like like this, Mm -hmm. Yes, just like that, Uh uh-huh. So, good, that's great. And then you would you're put it, really that good. down, and then you would pop that in your mouth. But oh. I, I don't know in. if you should, because you're, <laughs> aren't you yeah, trying to, trying yeah, to yeah, you're trying to diet, so we don't want to, here, what's over here? Oh, well, and no, I feel, I feel super, I feel super proper. Y- you yeah, look like yeah, it. I feel like I'm ready to fucking go make some money and bang some uh, successful No, you could visit no. the White House now. Yeah. Y- you deal with higher society. Do you find that these women are more slutty as the more money they get? I would imagine so, right? Like the pool boy? You know, like, like, you know, like the housewives. Like, isn't there a TV show about that where they're all banging the pole boys and the neighbors? My mom was supposed to be banging the principal as a kid, so I have, I have bad role models, you guys. Aww. Banging your principal? Oh, well, here's the thing, guys. Did you graduate? No, f- no. Are you kidding me? I didn't graduate. You didn't gra- <laughs> that makes sense. I didn't. Okay. I, I think I, I, I was homeschooled in like third grade, uh-huh. and I dropped out of. Uh, I went back to school, and I dropped out of high school at like tenth grade. That's fine. You're successful I guess what now. I'm saying, you guys, I have a, I have a poor example of what women are, and and Nina just reinforces that every time I talk to her. <laughs> She's always in my fucking DM trying to show off her titties in the fucking workplace. She brings what is your name again? I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> Nicole. Nicole. She brings Nicole with the dress. It's terrible, you guys. It's fucking terrible. But Nicole. It is really can... hot in here. Yeah, that's because you're by me. All right. <laughs> She's gonna think it's about called- this. Self-control. Guarantee she thinks about this later. But anyways, we can conclude this meeting, you guys. I think you did a really good job. I yeah, think I so too. Good. I like Nicole. I like Nicole more like you. That's good. Honest to goodness, this is for you. And read it whenever you're at your leisure, okay? Oh, read. <laughs> yes. Read. No, we've established. Look, Why do you think YouTube here. exists? These are the things that I put in here. Introductions, conversations, email etiquette, and dining etiquette. Okay. When it, where is the, where is the, the get laid part? That's not in well, there. after you finish the whole book, that will help you. What is this? First of all, look, you she guys even ever, put, she put pictures in there. If you guys you ever see me in this little fucking threesome <laughs> bromance, <laughs> fucking, you gotta know I'm under distress. <laughs> Lean in, focus on the person. Do not look at other people First of or all, things. Look at this. Do not look at o- <laughs> Who lays on their stomach and works on a laptop like that? <clears throat> you need help with the email That's a etiquette. Homosexual. You need help with your email. Oh yeah, etiquette. I do really bad email. No, it's you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna read all of this. I'm Great. just looking for the pictures here. Like and really realistically, would you rather have sex with him or me? Like who do you think who do you think lays down the pipe better? I'm who not going to think, answer that question. Sean Nina, has a fight on Nina, Saturday. Who do you think lays down the pipe better? Sean me has a or fight this limp Saturday. motherfucker, you guys. Don't be this fing guy. Just be a fing man. Eat with your hand. I'm oh. Look at the titties. Just fucking be a fucking man. Hit the guy. Be a fucking man. Oh, Sean. Sean has a fight on Saturday. I made Sean, that for you. He is just a fucking <laughs> animal. He's gonna come. Oh, he's gonna come back. Sean. Sean. <laughs> Some people just don't want help, <laughs> but I feel like he did well. He was receptive to the bread. <laughs> This concludes today with Sean Strickland. And Nicole. Uh, Nicole from Poison Proper. From Poison Proper. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Oh, the, wait, web, go the, deep. Web, the web, the yeah, web, go deep. deep. Go, go deep. deep in the web. I thought you shake a woman's hand like this. Like. No, that's like.
antiquated. Yeah. So we want like. But I like the man's play. I want women. I want women to know that I am the fucking man, and I'll break that little hand if I squeeze too hard. That's why you go in deep. <laughs> Let's see the. You'll always remember that now. I know. <laughs> All right, you guys. You did a great job. Yeah. Honestly, no. you did a lot better than I thought you you would. Yeah, no, it was cool. I, I like Nicole. You it's have a fight on Saturday. I have a fight on Saturday, guys. Is there anything? I had some fan questions. Oh, yes. I love you. Okay. I mean, uh, the fight, man, it's going to be good. It's a fucking Abu from Aladdin. We're going to fucking, we're going to do work. It's going to be fun. I'm going to try to knock him out. He's going to try to knock me out, you know? Mm -hmm. Fucking dirty Dagestani, I think. Or is he German? I don't know what the fuck these people are. You don't look at any uh, fight tape or anything. Is What is he, a German or a Daggy? He's, he's, he's what? German. And I promised them I would ask you some questions. I know you want to leave and you want to go and eat. Okay, questions. give me a couple questions. Um, how do you think you would do against a grown chimp in a no rules fight? Oh, it did me up. Yeah, no, that's that's a fight. I mean, they, and the worst thing about chimps, they rip your d off, you guys. Like that's like that's a thing. They grab the. D so you yeah. do it naked. No, like I mean, again, if, if maybe there wasn't the the possibility of losing my, d I might be like I try it, but the whole losing the d thing, no. But if there's not much d to grab, you would. First of all, you guys, I've made a woman with this little finger. You don't need a big to make a woman come, all right? You just gotta be mighty, good of a good spirit. She knows. I mean, look at the boyfriend. Okay, what's the worst fan interaction you've ever had? Oh, I have good fan interactions. My my fans are awesome. Like yeah, I've never you. like don't get me wrong. Like I would like some crazy motherfucker to come out and me get a hit him, but no, my fans are great. Yeah, they're great. If they did an American History Acts Part 2, would you be interested in playing Derek Vineyard? <laughs> that was a good f***ing movie. You know, you watch as an adult and you're like, oh, that movie is way different than what I thought it was. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I like money, but I, I have no interest in like any of that. Is grappling gay? I mean, you're trying to take your nutsack and put it in a man's face and smother him with it. I'm not saying it's gay, but I mean, if that's not gay, what it what is gay? Have you ever been Have you ever been choked out with a nutsack before? Mm. Oh man, this is this is why she doesn't have children, you guys. But you have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. They got a lot of racist fans, you guys. Yeah, that was that was a bad one. I can't say that out loud. Can you talk about your podcast? When are you, when's your next episode gonna drop? Okay, we'll conclude this. So what happened, you guys? I went to this guy at the studio. This guy's studio, right? There's a couch. It was awkward. <laughs> told me to take off my clothes. He told me to be... <laughs> we'll see how things perform. It didn't work out. No, anyways, I went to the studio. Sean night. doesn't perform well under pressure is what he's saying. I, no, I first of all, you guys, I could take my out right now and perform under pressure. <laughs> but while her boyfriend watches, I'm sure he'd be into it. So I went to this fucking studio and there's like a, they they rearranged the furniture. They put a couch and it was like super fucking gay. And I was like, this is not, this is not who I am. So I walked out, and we're in the process mm -hmm. of getting it. We're going to have Nina come do the podcast. Uh, we're in the process of getting it done. <laughs> Nina, you're looking skinny. you got to have a kid. You. Yeah, you got to have a kid. Thank you. All right, guys. Last day of sparring. I'm in, I'm in my room. Drones, 3D printers. Anyways, I did an interview with Nina, and I went a little off the rails, poison and proper. I don't take it in the back, but still. Went a little bit hard, so go give that girl a follow and a like. Help me out. <laughs>